Mug game, what's still? It's your boy Don. We back in the stand with a new video. Uh, we got nine minutes of racist Karens getting instant karma. You know what I mean? The opening scene is say nobody likes a racist, and that is true. You know what I mean? If you know a racist, you feel me? Check them. Let them know it's not cool. Let them know it's not right. You know what I mean? I ain't even talking about just a white person. You know what I mean? Not liking a black person. It could be a black person not liking a white. It could be, you feel me? Any race not liking anything just because. You feel me? You know what I mean? But look, man. Let's hop straight into this video. Let's get a cracking. New to my channel. Hit that sub button. Turn me up. If you miss my second channel, so turn me up. You know what I mean? And hit that like button. Leave some comments. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. <laughs> look, turn me up. My fault. That's getting annoying. I got to tell. Let's go. Turn me up. Nobody likes a racist, and most people don't like Karens. Yeah. So that's why today we have for you racist Karens getting owned. Yeah. Kicking things off is a Karen at a fuel station whose pump wasn't working. The woman then takes her rage out on an unsuspecting customer inside. Are you the manager? Greg Hahn, the man behind this now viral video, talks about the moment three lives collided inside this gas station on 7th Street near Bell Road in Phoenix. Five seconds after I was checking out, this lady walks in and was all... What's on your lip, fella? You got a little red song. What you been doing, buddy? Sets that her pump wasn't working. <laughs> what well, buddy been getting into? Getting into that nasty stuff, huh? Gas station, so she started getting the stuff by the type of glasses he be wearing. He a little, you hear me? Clerk a little, little weird nigga. Get another uh, clerk to come out. He says he starts recording as this woman starts arguing with another customer and out of nowhere, making it about race. And the lady just went off on her, told her that she worked there, that told the cashier not to serve her and that she can go back to her country. You did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind this of, what kind country. of, what is that? Native Americans Excuse me, this, this is country. what this whole world... White people are not from this country. She then directs her anger towards Greg and his camera. You need to leave. You're not no, a part no, of this. No, no. Surveillance video given to us by Super Pumper shows as the woman continues to walk toward the couple pointing her finger, even pushing the man in his shoulder, while his hands are in his pockets. That's assault. Yeah. You guys know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Three more. Three more. After that, the argument escalates. You're going back to Mexico. And then that's when the lady pushes Karina, and the lady actually hits her. Yeah, but you deserved it. The video has been shared thousands of times, and the woman's husband says his law firm is now the target of harassment. All I can tell you Wait. is, is did I miss it? Did I put my? She hit her. I think I put my head down. And then that's when the lady pushes Karina, and the lady actually hits her. Yo, why they blurred out, huh? So we about to watch a whole video. Of, you feel me? Blurred. Uh. Smacks. Yeah, but you deserved it. The video has been shared thousands of times. Come on, and the man. All I can tell you is his mental crisis. He says following this incident, his wife is undergoing an intervention. And I love her dearly. <laughs> Moving on now. I love her dearly. Boy, you be on the same type of time, gang. Let's look at this. Let's look at this shit again. Wife is undergoing an intervention. And I love her. And I love her dearly. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's like when kids, you know what I mean, be fake crying and ain't no tears be coming out. And then be like, come on, bro, put on a whole show. And I love her dearly. <laughs> Moving on now, in New York, we have an incident at a bakery where a Karen uses a racial slur at a man after refusing to put her mask on. Here's an interview with the victim. It's the shocking moment a white woman said this to a black bakery worker in New York City. Hi. The video, recorded by a bystander, showing the woman denied service by the employee after refusing to wear a face mask. I can't wear a mask, sir. Why can't you wear a mask? Security at the scene attempting to de-escalate the situation, but things took a turn when the woman hurled the racial slur. Ma'am, he's not going to serve us, so please leave. Why? Because he's a what? He's a what? See, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's what he is. The woman doubling down on the racist insult next to Look at her nose though, bro. You can just tell it all by her nose, fam. Let me stop. That appeared to be with her. Nose big as hell. Yeah, you have a baby who's big. This morning, the man behind the counter, 30-year-old Victor Kamara, is speaking out. Did it make you take a step back? Damn! Look at this nigga head, bro. 
Shit, shiny is it, bro? You, yeah, cuz. You know what I mean? That's worse than Charlemagne head, bro. And Charlemagne got a dome on him. I ain't gonna lie. Boy, that shit shiny. That nigga skin, you feel me? Not a bump in sight, too. That nigga head motherfucking perfectly molded like some goddamn Play-Doh. You feel me? A ball of clay. Like, why would you, why would you call uh, me that? You know what dog, I mean? And, uh, especially having kids that are mixed, you know? Why? But this head kind of muscular, though. Like, that nigga motherfucking got some goddamn special abilities behind that bitch. Why would you use those words? Kamara says while he was trying to calm the situation, he appreciated those who stepped Jumping over to Edmonton, Canada now, yet another Karen has gone on a racist tirade, which has since gone viral. East Indian Yeah, it started with a disagreement. Shit ain't funny, bro. If you laugh, bro, that ain't funny, bro. I was laughing because something happened earlier today and I was really, I just remembered it, bro. Woo, boy, she going to hell. She going to hell for that one. East Indian. Yeah, it started with a. Better not laugh, man. Agreement over a parking space in an Edmonton apartment complex. That's where Rahul Kumar lives. Now, the woman, who we only know by the name Angelique, says the dispute started weeks ago when Kumar approached her in the lot when she was visiting a friend. She said he started banging on her window, telling her to move her car while swearing at her. Then the tirade happened when she returned last week. Building management asked her to move her car. Kumar then recorded what happened next. That's you with the sh colored skin. Hey, Go bro. back to your fucking country. Hey, bro. Come on, gang. They be hating. They, yeah, yeah. they be hating on this brown folks. You know what I mean? Real tough, man. And you fucking suck it. Before she drives off, you about to hit their car. It's on her. His car calls him a loser. Uh -huh. Kumar moved to Canada from India seven years. Very disturbing news out of Vernon Central High School. What's going on? Shut up, bitch. Years ago, and he says he is stunned by this interaction. It was very disturbing. I didn't go to work last evening because I had to stay with my family. Angelique called into CTV Edmonton after our report aired last night. She takes responsibility, she says, for what she did, but is not apologetic, saying she is not a racist. I'm not a racist. I have no problems with anybody. But in every race, there's that one bad. Bunch. I love myself, so I have no problem with what you just mad, bro. Look at you. You still mad. Come on, man. She went on to say she didn't care what most Canadians would think of that language, Marcia. The victim has since filed a police report on the matter, and police are now looking into the video. We now have. Where's the karma at, though, bro? They talking about getting instant karma, clickbait. Karen, who strongly dislikes so far i've seen one person get hit and they blurred it out bro as if you feel me someone got blamed down language so much so that he did this <clears throat> a tirade over a taco this man in anaheim Why you in a taco shop getting mad at a mexican though not even trying to be like stereotypical though but bro that's like going into a soul food spot and get mad because you feel me there's niggas in this you feel me like bro do you hear yourself bro and yells at customers who try to come to the cashier's defense i'm an american i don't think you'll get an i don't the owner of palapas tacos on lincoln says the man could not understand the fish specials board this is for one word viernes which is friday in spanish <laughs> my cashier she was Really shaking. All right, all right. Now you looking dumb. That's your instant karma. This nigga just looking dumb as hell. She was like scared. Since he got in, he was like in a bad mood. He was like acting aggressive. He was like, like not in a, not having a good day. The sign outside says Especial de Viernes. Inside the restaurant, though, it clearly says Friday in English. But even when the cashier pointed that out, witnesses say the man didn't let up. That's when the owner, Juan Del Rio, grabbed his cell phone. Put you in the car? 
Okay, he throwing up the gang. Nah, fuck your racist ass, though. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. We throwing that shit down. Whatever you throwing up, we throwing it down. You know what I mean? Let me stop. You feel me? I was about to start encouraging this goofy. You gonna call? Immigration. For what? For you. Why? Because you're not legal. Boy, you about red as hell. You see how red cuss was? Well, yeah, we have a Karen that, after listening to her, will really make you want to clear your throat. This woman went on a racist tirade. Shout out to the cool white folks, though. You know what I mean? Real talk though, not all of them are like this. You know what I mean? It's just these people be giving. You know what I mean? Like a bad rap for like the cool ones, like the ones you be kicking them with, like the homies. You know what I mean? Cause hey, we all got them homies. Refusing. To like, why can't we all just get along? We <gasps> love each other, bro. Like a ball, bro. I know it's because you're discriminating against me because I'm. Like we all just people at the end of the day, bro. You don't gotta bring color into it, bro. Okay. What? See what they gotta do with anything? See what I mean? See what I mean? It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But you aren't taking there. You aren't taking there. All right. See, if I was shorter than other than that counter, it would have been over. Oh, you think I give a fuck about this Starbucks job? You got me fucked up. Thank you. Thank you. And I need sugar too, please. Okay. Um, and she's still being rude, like she getting her sugar and everything. Shorty's still being rude, disrespectful. Okay, I don't have to wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask. Okay. This is America, and I don't have to do what you say. Sound nasty. Trump 2020. Trump 2020. She's still gonna be saying that shit in 2082. Trump 2020. She probably gonna be dead by then. I'm probably gonna be spanked up by then for what? 2082? What year we in? 2000? How old am I? That's 60 years from now. I don't know. I could be. I could be. If God, you feel you rocking with me, I could be around. Here we have a Karen who really doesn't know how to talk her way out of a ticket. In a traffic stop last year, the following woman decided racism was going to be her best coping mechanism while being pulled over. Correct. I pulled you over because, because you're a murderer. Because uh, yes, I started to record because you can't you're a murderer. Be, you can't be on your cell phone I, I wasn't while you're on driving. My phone. I was recording you because well, you scared you can't, me. You can't use your cell phone. Well, I mean, she's recording a police officer, calling a police officer a murderer. I don't want to say she's in the wrong so far. Hold on. Let's just, let's hear out. <laughs> let's hear her out. While you're recording. Record you. And can you call your supervisor, please? I, I already did. He's on his way. Good, because you're a murderer. Okay. Perfectly legal, and I'm a teacher. So oh. there. Congratulations. Murderer. You're a murderer. What's that? Hold that still for me. Okay, murderer. And that's it. There you go, ma'am. Sign inside the red box right there. For him being a Mexican racist, what is that name? Found no. the citation, ma'am. Here you go, Mexican racist. You're always going to be a Mexican. You'll never be white. You know that, right? You'll never be white, which is what you really want to be. It turns out this woman was a school teacher. Of I, don't I look, he zoned out during that one. <laughs> what? I look, he zoned out during that one, boy. Mexican racist. What is that name? Found no. the citation, ma'am. Here you go, Mexican racist. You're always going to be a Mexican. You'll never be white. You know that, right? You'll never be white, which is what you really want to be. It turns out this woman was a school teacher of all things, but you'll be happy to learn that she has since lost her job. At Burger King Good. now, we have a manager who defends his staff from an ignorant customer's racism. Good. We should have used this Florida. Eustace, it just sound racist. <laughs> Oh, I thought he meant he gonna finish the meal for her. I was about to say, damn, nigga, you hungry or something, nigga? Shit. <laughs> and disrespectful. We are ignorant. You're very ignorant and disrespectful. Have a great day and get out of my restaurant. 
Don't worry, we're home. Well, this isn't your restaurant. Yes, it is, ma'am. It is not. It is. Actually, as a matter of fact, it is. Yes. I hate wow. to say it, but it is. Wow. And you know what? The owner of this franchise is Mexican. Oh, His name is Guillermo Morales. He Perales. always speak English. No, okay, he don't. Speak. He does not. They both are even. They both racist as hell. You're very inconsistent. Excuse me, you're telling me not to speak my native language? I you're being really prejudiced, ma'am. You're being Stop saying prejudice, bro. She's being racist. I know that's like damn near the same thing, but prejudice seems like a nice version of racist, man. Call her racist. Prejudice. I racist. You, said you, should speak it you know what? Here. I have nothing to say to you, ma'am. Just. Just have get up out of here. And don't come back. Don't worry, I'm glad you won't. Don't forget your peppermints. Man, but look though, I kind of wanted to see some more. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? I ain't an advocate on violence, but you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just exciting to see, let's just say. You know what I mean? But look though, there we have it. You're new to my channel, hit that sub button. Give me the something, something. I don't know, like 20K subs ASAP. But look, man, hit that like button. Follow my Twitter, my Instagram. Without further ado, it's your boy Donald. Check out one love. Peace out. Yeah.